Welcome back to Like It or Not. In this episode, we're going to go back to green screen captions because I realized something that I didn't share with you in the first video that I really wanted to get out to you as soon as possible. So let's do this then. If you can't remember how to size your dimensions in YouTube, look up in the info card and I will link to a video that tells exactly how to do that. Do you remember in my last video when I said it didn't really matter what your background was? Well, that's true in a way. However, there is one extremely helpful tip that I can give you. If your editing program gets rid of a specific color, let's say that your editing program when you put in your chroma key gets rid of green and it's a specific green, if you make your background that color, then when you put your chroma key on it, it will make your job in editing a lot easier. Well, in my case, my program OpenShot gets rid of black automatically. So I have started making my backgrounds in black. That way, it automatically takes care of it in editing, and I don't have to do anything extra. I just have to throw on the chroma key, and it works for me. Before I show you OpenShot, I do want to show you a quick tip in Canva. And basically, whenever you add a text, if you add a text like this and you have to change your font and your size. You type in your words. Okay, let's say, help me with fonts. And then you make an effect on that. Let's say you splice it and you make it pink. You make it thick, you do this. Well, instead of having to replicate all of that for like several things in a row, if you go up here and hit duplicate, then you can start typing again. And it will duplicate all of the information that you've already saved. So it's just something that's helped me move my designs much faster. Let's talk downloads. Yes, so what we're going to do is go up here to the top right corner and click on the little arrow. Your file type, you want to make it PNG. And you're going to want to select a page. And my page for this one is page 17. So I scroll down, find page 17, and click it. And then I click Done. And then I click Download and it's going to prepare my design and it's going to pop up something for you. You just exit out and that's how you download your design. In this segment, I'm going to show you how to get that green screen caption into your video and how to get rid of the background using OpenShot. I'm actually going to show you the video I'm working on now because it makes it easier. But basically, I have little clips in OpenShot. Um, and I want to get my design up here. So here are all my project files. I'm going to go up here to the top and click the little plus button. And that's going to bring up my folders. And in this particular one that I want in my green screen captions is in my download folder. And I know that it is this one. This is your green screen caption. And it pulls it up right here in my project files. And I know that I want to overlay it right here on this file. So I'm going to take it over here and bring it down for you. Um, so what you see is there's a black background. What I need to do that, if I right click, you'll see a lot of different options, but that's not what I need. 
I need to go over here to the left hand side, Project Files, Transitions, Effects. I'm going to go to Effects and there's a whole bunch of effects you can use, but in OpenShot it's called Chroma Key or Green Screen and I'm going to take this, I'm going to hold down my left mouse button and I'm going to drag it over here right on to this little segment. And guess what? It gets rid of all the black and now I can see it on top of that segment. It's really quite simple. Let's do a quick review. We're going to download this one where it says quick review for green screen captions. Download, PNG, go down here to page 17, download, get rid of the second X, go up here to the top left side, click the plus, go to your downloads button, click what you want to add, open it, drag it down, go back to effects, drag your chroma key over to it, and let's see what happens. And just to let you know, you want your screen captions on top, on top of whatever file you're using. So earlier I had it over here. Well, I don't want it on this. So I just drag it where I do want it. And as long as it's on top and not on the bottom, if I put it on the bottom here, look, you will never see it. You see it doesn't pop up, but when I move it here, it pops up. Here's a bonus tip for you. If you want to use OpenShot Video Editor as your editing program, all you have to do is get on Google or search engine of your choice and type in OpenShot. And OpenShot is actually one of the first two things for me, so you click on it. And for me, it was as simple as clicking download um, because you can download it on Linux, Apple, or Windows. It's just a very, I'll, I love this program. So hope, hopefully that was helpful to you. Comment and let me know if you're interested in having me show you how I animate my captions. Maybe I can do that in a future video. Here's a little bonus tip for you. If you're interested in using OpenShot Video, here's a bonus tip for you. If you want to use OpenShot Video, here's a bonus tip for you. If you want to shoot you, really?